So apparently these guys know each other quite a bit. Acolyte pull, okay. Ancient of War, not denying anything. And, ooh, Huntress. This is a super anti-tower push build by Pato with Keeper and Blind Huntress. More or less blind, he has some vision here. And DK took quite some damage. So yeah, it doesn't end up on the skeletons, but detonate, no kill. I think Pato's in a solid spot here. So far. It's not going to be a tower push. There's no Narub. Like, if you're sure that this is a keeper, and you might think that there is a follow-up, then damn, Pato's movement really good checks if there's an expansion and even though there isn't he still got the acolyte here we go entangle there's treants and lucy has to build another acolyte this delays the tech so usually if you go hunts you have a tech deficit but that's not the case here one acolyte down and the second one is also not looking that great but pato plays it carefully he knows there's a narrow coming he knows there's a lot of ghouls, there's a grave danger of being surrounded, but if the tech is even, that's kind of fine. <laughs> but Grumps just continues with the subs. <laughs> of course, you got a lot of, uh, lot of pocket change around. Sub number 540. And since we uh, dangerously dropped below the 1400 sub mark, um, yeah, it makes me feel real good, <laughs> to be honest. But Grumps... Almost single-handedly keeping the channel alive these days. So that's the threat that I was talking about, but this was a calculated risk by Pato. Moving aggressively, A, prevents the DK from leveling further, and he got the connection to another Acolyte, so Luki, uh, Luki, Lucy has to cancel the tech to rebuild this Acolyte, now pulls one of the Acolytes. This is massively odd. So it's a super late Expo now? Oh, I don't know if that's flying, my man. Pato should feel good. He's a little underleveled, but his tech is so far ahead. And you know what? He smells this. Or he scouted this somehow. But he saw this coming. So yeah, good luck with ghouls against hunters. There is a staff, so not even surrounds can do much. Lucy is in a world of trouble and I have no idea how to get out there. Usually the strength of Undead versus Night Elf in the early game is you don't really know what he's going for. And maybe Lucy was a bit too predictable by constantly going for the ghoul poles and the tower pushes. Fresh, cool... Fr oh, no Warcraft sound. I'm so sorry about that. There you go. Uh, fresh, cool ale indeed. I seriously have to fix my sound issues, man. Once I, go <laughs> Once I got time, I say this for half a year. So, DK in trouble, tech is bad, Expo is not coming up, the Ziggurat was cancelled, even though it's still on the minimap. Like, if you look at the dictionary for disastrous undead versus night elf game, this is it! There's no DP, the panda's blocking, can he get another entangle? There's no potion or anything. But yeah, probably more important to creep the Keeper and the Panda, isn't it? Damn, not bad by Pato. Lore is coming. One of them is almost finished. I would love to know if Forks casted this. He probably went... Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Bananas over this. 
So yeah, it's definitely Pacha's game to lose right now. Second expansion attempt, we go Gargs, but it's only one crypt, right? So this is really not scary. And especially with the panda. Feels like Pato is reading Lucy like a book. From start to finish, every decision was right. Really impressive. Yo, Pete, thank you very much for the sub. That is much appreciated. Five months, much love. And Pato's keeping tabs on this base, but maybe not on this. And if the game goes super long, there might be a chance, but Pato was not only investing into his tier two tech and some hunts, but also in an expansion. Minimap in replay is always a little bugged. But yeah, Keeper gotta be a bit careful. Here comes the Nova, but Coil cooldown was off by a second. Quick reaction there as well. But Pato should have a pretty good idea that this is happening. If he didn't scout it, he kind of must assume it. Ah, the great outdoors. Your building is complete. Your Deku Gove is being desecrated. Not yet, though. Oh, call Nova again. Staff on cooldown for a minute. Hold on. Is that just a kill? There's a coil. There's a kill. No way. But if he gets the... That is uh, Lucy's last hope. Or one of the last hopes. Except call Nova, obviously. That this works at some point. But at what cost? Lucy level 40k makes chasing real easy. And then what? But still. It's two base, one base. Mass Dryads are coming. 12 supply ahead. Panda is on her way to level 3 now, I guess. Engine of War made some miles. But yeah, Garks can be scary to a degree. Our warriors have a great out. But still, the units of Pato, not really ready yet. Panda's level 3 though. And that's the counter to Gox. That's the moment where it's like, yep, that's my game. At the very least. There's no Wisp lane, which is surprising, I'd say. Because, of course... There's a lot of gold on Pato's side, but Lumber could kneecap him. Good steal, not bad. Uh, the and that's the reason. Is Lucy even tier 3? No, he couldn't afford it, right? With the late tier 2 tag, with the expansion attempt. No. Your building is complete. <laughs> Sacrificial pit costs a lot of lumber, but he has the lumber anyway. And here comes the tier 3. Pato, if he's not tacking as well... Feels like he must almost close this game. Is Lucy just slowly but steady cruising to victory here? But not faltering. Nice steal again. Dude, that keeper kill changed everything. 
Oh, the big one is still there. Coil Nova is ready, locked and loaded. He has vision, does he not? Ah! Lucy, coming too early. And a mana stone for the keeper. Double slaughterhouse. Ah, Expecting bears, I guess. Or, oh no, he wants to go A, A bomb's wagons. Sweet. Party trying to find a connection. Lich is not where he wants to be. And this position is nice. Also, Nova mana gone. No dark ritual. Thing is, this base is well protected with a couple of towers. In the meantime, the APs are growing. And Lucy's not expecting this. Is he? Really impressed with Pato so far. Could go wagons now, Lucy. Do you play D4 later? No. Not today. Not. I don't think I will play it on stream. Did it once or twice, it was fun, but kinda over now. There is a couple of more important things to deal with currently. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Okay, here we go. APs, but the counter's already there! Can this base be broken and these fiends wagon be attacked by 70 supply pure dryads against the towers? Drunken haze, breath of fire, oh my god. Huge Brazilian barbecue. But the first tower is down. And... Oh my god, the panda does it. Is he not? This panda... Must have done a million damage. <laughs> yeah, and of course he has a mana stone and a mana potion. Pato pulling back after losing 10 supply, more or less. And now Lumber is quite short. Our sacred grove is being desecrated. Your building is complete. Million at least, exactly. Ah, the great outdoors. Still Pato. On tier 2. Oh, pulling back. Giving Lucy more time. All of a sudden, Lucy has a tech lead. And close to 5-3. This is not over. You got perfect information now. Definite jackpot. He didn't get a big mana, did he? No, but went off mana stealing. TP is available. Pato decides to walk, but Nova, boom! Oh my god, the perfect Nova. Six targets. But Lucy, I guess he has to TP out. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm really not sure. Lucy just with the snipe and the TP out. And it cost him one scroll and one wagon. Pato's falling apart. Now there's tier three. Our warriors have engaged the, the enemy. Has Oof. Yeah, Panda five. Feels like it's a necessity. Ooh, that's a lot of poison here, stacked up. Legion Doomhorn. Wonderful, especially if this East Cloud comes into play. Dude, <laughs> these sounds, dude. What are these sounds? Ah, okay. These slots are kind of protection on the ground. All right. Research finished. Master training must be on the way. In 10 seconds, we rebuild 
the tree of life. And that's the panda level 5. What's the counter to panda level 5? Naga third for a little bit of control and more nuke, but the panda is sturdy. Lich well equipped. Our warriors so many have dryads here. here. Heroes split away from the army, Bro, trying to intercept, but the keeper's not using anything. Keeper without the panda! And he needs to staff. Yeah, he needs to staff right now. Two moonwells falling, so he can't go up at 100. Limited bears. And destroyers are just fodder. Close game. What's gonna carry harder? Coil Nova or the Panda? Oh, this is heartbreaking for Pato if he loses this. He was miles ahead! Keeper next to the Moon World can react quickly. Nothing against the destroyers, really, or not enough at least. Oh my god, this panda. Did he cancel his staff and was too late and had to walk? Big heal potion. Is that enough, though? No TP. Oh, Lucy, this will cost a lot. Part to close this around. He doesn't. All these targets, though, for the panda. Staff out. Oh, there were a million chances for Pato to win this game and he didn't. Okay. Fiends are falling super quickly as well, but the panda getting fork lightning and dies too. Oh, what a throw. Oh, what a throw, Pato. That is incredibly sad. Sick opener for Pato, pretty much the hard counter, but yeah, everybody knows that the keeper falls off in the late game, and when the keeper died, that's when everything turned around, when Pato lost momentum, Lucy was able to, to establish the base, that's big yikes everybody, thank you 7G for the 50 month, Thank you for the fantastic casting. For all of you guys, I watch Back to Warcraft more than any other media combined. Dude, that's sick. And makes me really, really happy. I was about to say sad. No, 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 not sad. Really happy. Thank you, Knallbraten, for the tier one sub as well. 27 month. An all in one streak, dude. Thank you. All right. Darp snag. Are we getting a hype train here or what? It's a mini hype train. True, true. Oh my god, butt crumbs with the five gifties. Shebang, dude. Thank you. Would be cool if at the end of the stream uh, we get rid of that dirty 13 in front of our sub count. <laughs> but I don't want to be greedy. I'm really happy that you support us the way you do, guys. Thank you. All right, I'm queuing some ads. Otherwise, uh, it interrupts the game. Can't wait to watch this. Can't wait to watch this video with you guys. So, like, I'm very much looking forward to the games. Grashuk! Thank you, mate, for the resub. 14 month. Doing my part. There you go. US presidents make Warcraft 3 personality tier list. I can't wait to watch this with you. One more sub for the hype train? Really? Are we that close? Or two? Kevin, thank you very much, GG. GG, GG.
Yo, gotta be honest with you guys, past couple of days, not my favorite days of the year. Um, but this is a feel-good moment right now. Very much so. So, Lucy with the 1-0. And we move on to map 2. Yeah, uh... Sick, thank you guys. Cool... Uh, I don't know, 5 minutes or whatever this is. Awesome. So, Pato, bottom left. I hope he can recover from this defeat, cause... Oh yeah, little disclaimer, I don't know the outcome. Dude, Kevin gifting a sub? What the fuck, dude? Your building, your building. Imagine not being a sub. That's a Knubba Quakes quote, if I remember this correctly. I want you to spam emotes now. Yeah, that would... Uh, I mean, we got back to walk uh, BTW Tome for a reason now. Yo, yeah, well, thanks, Kevin. Much appreciated. Emote only chat. You'd love that as a mod, wouldn't you? It would be so much easier for you. <laughs> um, do we have a ghoul pull? No, nope, we have an acolyte scout. Oh, oh yeah, little disclaimer. I have no idea how these games go. I didn't watch them before. I don't even know how many games there are. I do have the replay files, but um, they're all in folders. With like, each match is a folder and then there's map one, two, three, but I don't know if folder 3 is filled or not but crumbs with more subs dude another 5 huh 550 subs I'm glad you like us so much very very glad wait a second what the fuck okay there's something I have to fix like immediately because that caught uh caught my eye um wow i'm a bit ashamed to be honest disproved by hell also gifting us up <laughs> what's going on guys what is going on Yeah, so, Mr. Uh, Mr. Buttcrumbs, you should notice a certain new icon to your name. Disproved by hell again. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So we do have double skull. Acolyte is still alive. We do have a wisp who checked this out. And he can't detonate against it. Pato. Double Ancient of War. But no Hunch Soul, right? No. Your building is complete. I got upgraded. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> no, you didn't get upgraded. You uh, finally got the status you deserve. That's the better wording, I guess. So we got a tech. No expo attempt. And Pato cancels the second engine of war and follows up on the tech. Good scouting. Good scouting here. Uh, also throughout the early game. Always realizing where it is. It's a demon hunter by the way. Replenishment potion. The perfect drop I guess. Now that lightning shield has been removed. Yeah, to have healing and mana regen on an... It, ooh, that should be cancelled easily. It's not. Maybe it should be. So it's a mid-tier 2 expansion, but here's Immolation. That's the problem, though. The Repetition Potion was cancelled. And, whoa, this didn't do much. Ooh, not that great. At least the Demon Hunter scales better into the late game than the Keeper, but obviously Pato currently didn't do as much damage as he did before.
and needs to level to level three. Oh, what he got here? Staff on Lucy, a little bit quicker. Obviously, also, we don't know what the conditions of the two were when they played. Lucy making a comeback. Yeah, he has been, he's improved a lot recently. Like, it's crazy. He's not expanding yet. Maybe he wants to secure it before. It's another surround right there. Look at this. This time, though, he's fighting out. Kills a little bit more. But man, you can't get surrounded there. <sighs> oh, good block. Good block again, but archer damage Upgrade. on tier one, really not the greatest, especially against heroes. So, Expo super far away. From the spot trying to follow up on this but lucy will be a little fast with everything i like lucy's brother play yeah his, it was fun i think thunder was streaming some days ago i thought i saw that too which is really cool Panda again. He was no cam, sadly. But I mean, Kaz has cam now. That makes up for it, right? I guess. Kaz the ultra chat. Oh. Breath of Fire. These ghouls all wiped out. Why creep when you can farm your opponent? And if Pato gets the cancel here, that's huge! But can he? It's so close. There's Acolytes for repair. Demon Hunter. A little more! A little more! And he gets it. Wow, that was so close. There's still no staff and OTP. Oh no! You have this huge win. It's so typical for the Warcraft scene as a whole. You have this huge win and this one feel good moment, and all of a sudden, you get slaps in the face left and right. The panda dies as well. One step forward, two steps back. Learn how to dance with Pato. This series is so brutal. At last, we For poor Patusito. Dude, that reversal by Lucy, though. He's going go one Crypt Garx again. Trying to brute force this. Very irregular timing. By Lucy as a whole. Heroes are back. Healed up again. DK. Scout the expansion, so he knows what's up, he knows what to do. Problem is... The enemy. With... Wh what do you want to push with? Like, there's only five ghouls. Research so, in Pato's shoes, what do you do? Uh, you know you had a similar setup in game one. Was it all the fall of a keeper? And you lay your trust in the demon hunter to carry it this time. What do you think? Oh no, this stuff again. No coil. Boots on the demon. We get more hero kills. Ah, A little bit of splits. Panda, no crit though. Breath of Fire is online. Could go for it. This time only one slaughterhouse. But a second crypt, fiend transition. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Lucy had a few fiends in the last game as well. Kind of, kind of an on odd unit combo that he displayed there. 
I wonder how much of this is just improvised. You know? Lucy just gut feeling. Our Hitting some buttons. Oops, punching my mic. Uh, Our warriors have engaged the enemy. So, with a Demon Hunter in play, with Mana Burn level 2, is it the same win condition than before? I don't think so. Lucy has to play a little bit better than he did on Tide Hunters. And stop the Panda again. Pato had a pretty late tech last time. Wonder how hard he's going on to Dryads. Lucy has less vision than before as well. Your building is oh, is there a creep check? Mm, probably not. Oh no. Okay. Pato got this. Otherwise, we would have seen the level up animation. Item ring of regeneration. Panda 2.9. Research finish. Your building is complete. Pato isn't ready yet. Not the levels, not the mass. Feels like you need 4 3 to be competitive. But this tier 3 is so much faster. Research finished. These gorgeous footprints, huh? Our warriors have engaged Thank God. People put so much work into footprints. We're just blessed. Demon Hunter also got blessed by Coil Nova. So now we also get an Ancient of Wind. Is this the super late game? But oh, there's a potion of greater mana on the ground. Jeez. Okay, he's in a rush. He wants to creep check this, wants the red. To a degree understandable. Vamp aura, nice for bears. Possible hippos. But I don't Upgrade think you go hippos this. in this game. Crow's just better all around. Statues have to work over time. I really like the burrow. Pato could send something to the laboratory to reveal and get some kills. Ah, there it is. But everything was revealed already. The talisman is super nice for the Lich for more HP, more mana. And Pato has to retreat without gaining too much. Well played by Lucy. Lots of fiends as well to counter uh, Dryads. Grove is being desecrated. And now comes Talents. Talents gotta be the key. Awaken. As they so often are. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Ooh, no Master Bears, all GNL. Here we go. Do 
fucking haze, breath of fire, off we go. There's two heal scrolls though. And there's no talents yet. There's also no web yet, but yeah, you need these talents. They're game winning. Not all bears connecting, still some fiend kills, but Lucy, this is overwhelming. This expansion was running for too long, the fights didn't go Pato's way, he has to TP out to save the panda. To a degree at least, a little bit of healing, a little bit of redo. But yeah, this feels like it's way too much. Pato's still fighting, but once the dryads are up on open field, it's hunting season. And it's deer on the menu. One crow? Good luck with that! This is gonna be nuked immediately. <sighs> and this is Mission Impossible now. 20 food down when he lost the last game with 20 food up. And these heal scrolls, man, pa Lucy was well equipped for this. Very well equipped. And he takes the W, 2-0, Lucy again, well done.